Hi, third grade. We reviewed the prefixes that we learned yesterday. We learned five yesterday. So in our class today, we talked about what a prefix is. And we reviewed that. We'll review that again here in a second. But a prefix is a unit that's in front of a root word. A root word is something, a word that already has its own meaning and can be used by itself, like heat, for instance. Heat is a root word. Heat means something all to itself. We learned the prefix, pre meaning before. Prefixes are units we put before a root word. Re, yesterday. So what we said, what does re mean in the word reheat? What do you think? Well, re means again. So if you have to reheat something, something was hot and got cold. So to reheat is to heat it up again, like in a microwave. We reviewed the word, the prefix pre with the word preheat. So what does pre mean in preheat? Well, if you paid attention to yesterday's lesson, you would remember that pre in the word prefix means before, before a root word. So pre means before. Pre, to preheat something, you're heating something before you use it, like an oven. Preheat an oven before you put a pizza into it so it cooks correctly. Then we talked about what does dis mean? Dis means not. Like in the word disobey, to obey somebody, you are listening to them and following what they say. To disobey you means you're not following the rules. You're disobeying them. What does un mean we reviewed? We learned un, untie, unlock. Un is another prefix for not. If your shoe is untied, it means it's not tied. If a door is unlocked, it means it's not locked. Then we talked about the prefix over. What does over mean? The prefix over. Over, when you add it to a root word, like overload, means excessive, means too full, too much, over, overstock, overflowing. So we are going to learn five new ones today. Before we went and jumped right into our words, we reviewed our new prefixes. We reviewed that words fit together like pieces in a puzzle. Prefixes fit together to root words like pieces of a puzzle. Like in this example, un is the prefix. It's before the root word happy. Happy by itself can be used in a sentence. We talked about that root word. Root word is a base word. It's basic part of the word. It has a meaning and can be used all to itself, like happy and turn and possible. These are all root words, but you can change the meaning of root words by adding a prefix to the front of it. So then we dove in a little bit deeper to what a prefix is. The meaning of a, pre, a word's prefix can help you understand the meaning of the word itself. So that's why we are learning about prefixes. We're learning how to be word aware. And if we're word aware, then we can understand better what we are reading. So we are now diving right into our new our new oops, prefixes. Go back here. I want to start right here in our index. So we have we learned today, we're, we learned today five new ones, and here's a sneak peek of what those five are. So we have anti. Can you say anti? We have bi, co, hyper, and m. Let's look at these closer. Anti. Anti means against. Say that with me. Anti means against. 
Anti means against. Anti. So if you're anti anything, that means you are against it. You are against it. So let's look at some things we can be against. Let's see if something we can be against. Cruelty. Cruelty. What's that mean? Well, that means to be mean, cruel. Well, if you're anti-cruelty, you're against that behavior. You're against being cruel. We hear this word a lot when, in terms of animals. Being cruel to animals. Septic. You might hear this when we think about hand sanitizer. So if something is septic, that means it's infected with a microorganism like germs, um, especially harmful bacteria. Septic. If something is septic, it's, it's harmful. Germs. So antiseptic is fighting against those germs. And then we have freeze. If something is frozen, it freezes. So an antifreeze will keep it, it will fight against it being frozen. Fights against the freeze. We sold puzzles to support the animal anti-cruelty. Anti-cruelty against. We don't want the animals to get hurt. Don't be cruel to our animals. Then we went and we talked about buy. Buy means two. Say that with me. Buy means two. Cycle. A bicycle is when you have two wheels. It's also a unicycle. But this is a bicycle because it has two wheels. Bicycle. Bicycle. I want to ride my. Then we have bifocal, meaning two focals. Bifocals. And then let's think about glasses when you think about bicycle. How many lenses do you see? Okay. There are two lenses. Weekly. If something happens weekly, it happens every week. But if something is bi-weekly, it happens every two weeks. Bi means two. Bi means two. Maya won a bicycle in the puzzle building competition. Bi means two wheels for this case. Two. So, anti, bi. Our next puzzle is co. It's our next prefix. Co means with or together. A pilot is alone unless they have a co-pilot and that helps them fly the plane. They fly it together. A worker is alone until they have co-workers. They're co-workers because they work with or together with other people. Author. You are alone in writing your book unless you are a co-author, meaning you wrote a book with someone, with someone, together. Co means together. To cohabitate is to live together. Co, co, co. My co-worker created a giant puzzle. Co means together. My co-worker created a giant puzzle with their together. Means that is someone they work with. Anti, bi, co. We did dis yesterday. I mean, not. Hyper. We had fun with this one. Hyper means extreme, exaggerated. Hyper means extreme or exaggerated. So if you're hyper alert, you're very aware of your surroundings, like maybe a dog is. If you're hypersensitive, that means that things can get to you easily and you might cry a lot. Being sensitive means you're very... Being sensitive also could mean that you could be uh, maybe allergic to something. So if you are allergic to something and you're hypersensitive to it, that means that you can have a really bad reaction to maybe a, a lotion, a scented lotion, or 
even some dust mites. Market. I don't hear this much. We usually hear supermarket, but the, uh, there is a such thing as a hypermarket. Extreme market, like maybe a Sam's Club. About 50 puzzles at a hypermarket. Means extreme market, exaggerated. Probably has really good deals. You also heard here for hyper, like being hyperactive. Someone who's super duper ha active. M means again or not. In most cases, it just means not. It means not. Like an impossible meaning, not possible. Impatient meaning not patient. Imperfect meaning not perfect at all. And we said today in class that we are all perfectly imperfect and we like it that way. It makes us unique. So I think it's impossible, meaning not possible, to build a puzzle blindfolded. Impossible. Not going to happen. So now it's time to take your exit ticket. Anti means against. Bi means to. Co means together or with. Hyper means excessive. Um, hyper means excessive or exaggerate it um, or extreme. That's what I wanted. Extreme, extreme. Hyper means extreme or exaggerate it. And then M means not. There's a lot that means not, like dis and un also mean not. All right, go ahead and take your exit ticket. I am excited to see what you learned.